Uh, all right. Out with the old and in with the new. <sighs> all right. Lots of dust. Lots and lots of dust. Gasket set. Hey, repainted, not fresh repainted, but repainted oil pan for this engine. And these are the pistons and the rods. They were all done and resized. Yep, 40 overs for this block. Let's pull the old t-shirt off and let's see what we got. Now, let me say, this has been sitting for three years. And let's see how some WD-40 did on these cylinders. I would say the dim cylinders are all pretty damn good. There is a testament to WD-40. This has been sitting under this T-shirt in the corner for three years and she still looks beautiful she's got a little bit grit see she's a 0010 block and she's got a little bit of stuff inside of her we'll clean all that out blow this out but yeah we're going to do a little bit of work we're going to deeper in here deeper in there this so we're going to take the block and we're going to do all this but this has been vatted Board 40 over for those pistons. All right. And so let's get started. First things first, let's clean this thing out a little bit. Okay. She actually looks pretty good. There's not a lot of grit involved here. A little bit of stuff just from time. But she looking like she's in pretty good shape. So, all right. Let's flip this over and take a look here. Uh, yep, got spider web. All right, cam bearings all still look beautiful, like brand new. There's some casting flash in there that ain't gonna hurt nothing inside the galley. Let me see. All the threads look good. Now this is the block, and I'll put a link to this video of where I took the file and knocked down all the hard edges, cleaned everything up, made where nothing sharp. And uh, yeah, she's uh, she's looking good. We could like, put some paint on this thing, probably. Yeah, we can put some paint on this thing for right now. But okay, so. What's the first thing I want to do with this? I want to wash it. And I got me a brand new can brick clean. And we're just going to give her a little douse. All right. Just going to give her some douse. Just going to give her a little clean. Just a little dousage. All right. Front cover. Mains. Everything just give it a little bit of hit just to wipe all the dust off. All right, we'll use a brand new lint free towel here and we'll just wipe everything down. And looks like this looks really good. There's no rust in these cylinders at all, none. But see, there's still it comes out with a little bit of dirt. You can never get too clean because this is going to be a different build as opposed to the one you guys are all well aware of. And the only scratch that's in this, all four, eight of these, is there's a little small, tiny scratch that I can see where you use the dial bore gauge to make sure everything is right. That's it. This thing is perfect. All right. I'm very happy. I mean, 
How could you not be happy after three years? And you take the cover off after sitting in the corner for three years and it looked this good. How could you not be happy? Happy, happy, happy. All right. Let's spin her back over. Uh, put the lock bolt in. Same thing on this. We're going to, we got little bits and pieces of stuff in here. We're going to spray that out. We'll just get all this out of here. Gotta love the brake clean. All right, wipe her all down on the inside. Yep, wipe her all down on the surfaces. Boom, boom. Then turn the rag inside out. And let's wipe inside them cylinders again. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys remember, I've already chased all the threads. I did all this before it went to the machine shop. Okay. So every thread in this block has been cleaned. Rechecked. Got nothing pulled. So everything is ready to go. All right. So what we're going to use for hard parts for this is I've got the set of 82s that's sitting inside there. That we'll pull the valves on and we'll do a, a finish doing the port job on the 882s. Um, we'll put a new set of springs on it. I got the gasket set. I got the timing chain. I'm going to have to buy a cam. Um, I've got all the outside stuff, the lifters, everything. I've, I've got a crankshaft in the closet ready to go. We'll have to pull it out and clean it out. Same thing. Get the brushes out and the brake clean. And then we're going to douse this down with WD-40. Just because it's you now it's out and open and we'll put a garbage bag over top of it loose Not holding air just garbage bag to keep the stuff out of it and uh, We're gonna go from there. So we're gonna plastic gauge this we're gonna mark mic things We're gonna double check triple check new springs new bearings new everything I mean, it's gonna be we're gonna do this one, right? But we're gonna do this as cheap as possible All right, so you guys hang with me on this. This is number one of many and then once it's all done, we'll, this is number one of many, which we're going to get this done. I'm, I just, I mean, just look at them cylinders. Look at them cylinders. I mean, you can't be, you can't be happier than that. I mean, after three years of sitting, it's beautiful. All right. I'm very happy. I'm very optimistic. I couldn't help myself. I decided I have to. Give her a little quick coat of paint. So we're gonna let that dry overnight. Let that harden up real nice, and then we're gonna start building. Yes, sir. Happy, 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 happy. I am very excited to be doing this. So if you're still here, like, share, subscribe, smash that button, hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell. So because this is gonna be kind of intermediate in between the shop build. So I'm using this when I can get to it. I'm going to work on it. So I don't know when these are going to go up. In so stick with me. Y'all have a great day.